In this video, we'll discuss how to communicate to your cats what we don't want them to do and how to help them understand when we don't approve of their behavior. Cats do not understand human language, which means that the word no has no meaning for them. However, it is possible to teach them to understand that no indicates that we want them to stop the action they are taking. From time to time, you may come across your pet performing actions that bother you. Maybe your cat jumps on the counter, knocks things over, or scratches your household items. He may even steal food, chew on wires, or not use the litter box properly. Although it is tempting to want to discipline the cat by scolding him aggressively, yelling or spraying him with water, these forms of punishment harm the relationship with your pet. Severe discipline doesn't teach the cat to behave, it only teaches it to be afraid of you. When your cat is performing a behavior you want to stop, say no firmly and use assertive body language. Take him out of the activity and redirect him to something more suitable. Repeat this process so that the cat gets used to the sound and associates it with the scolding. Make sure the no is accompanied by a serious expression. Looking into the cat's eyes while commanding may seem strange, but cats understand this type of communication through body language. Pointing the finger is also an effective way to get the cat's attention. Sometimes just saying the word no isn't enough to stop your cat's misbehavior. Just using the term in isolation will not make him fully understand what is wrong. Instead, the cat will understand that when you are there, it shouldn't continue the unwanted behavior. However, when you are not around, he may repeat the behavior. If you use a spray bottle to redirect your cat's misbehavior, the cat will not directly associate the spray with the inappropriate action. He will probably just stop doing the action for fear of the spray, but he won't understand that jumping on the counter or scratching the furniture are undesirable behaviors. In order for the cat to associate bad behavior with something unpleasant, it is best to apply an immediate and appropriate consequence to the unwanted behavior. For example, the cat will learn to associate jumping on the counter with something negative if the counter is protected by a surface that is unpleasant to the touch. Before disciplining your cat, remember that cats do not have malicious intent. Often, what we interpret as bad behavior is simply an expression of their natural instincts as animals. If the cat is scratching the furniture, ask yourself if he has enough scratching posts available. Cats need to sharpen their claws and exercise their muscles, so it's important to offer several options for scratching posts and encourage them to use them through stimuli such as catnip or toys. If the cat loves running water, make sure there are water sources in the house to satisfy that desire. If he likes to sit on the counter, provide a raised cat stand or cat tree in the kitchen area so he has a suitable place to rest, away from unassigned spots. It could also be a sign that your cat is experiencing a medical issue. Why don't cats always obey our commands? Often your cat may refuse to follow your instructions due to lack of motivation and encouragement. One of the best ways to train a cat is to offer rewards for good behavior. These incentives, combined with the absence of negative tactics like yelling or using a spray bottle, will motivate your cat to do the right thing. If no positive rewards are offered, your cat may simply not have the motivation to obey. She will learn that the scratching post is very pleasant and will receive treats as a reward for using it. Likewise, if you call your cat's name to get him to come to you and he obeys, reward him. When disciplining a cat, avoid rewarding bad behavior with your attention. If your pet jumps on the counter and receives affection or attention, it will likely continue to do so. But if nothing happens when he jumps on the counter, i.e. no attention, food, or affection, then there's no reason to continue this behavior. Likewise, if you give your cat a treat when he meows, you are teaching him that meowing results in getting a treat. If you don't reward this meow, i.e. ignore it, it's unlikely that it will continue meowing incessantly. A common mistake when scolding a cat is to do so too long after the fact. Cats are not able to associate something that happened minutes or hours ago with the current punishment. If you come home and notice that your cat has pooped on the floor and you scold him, he will have no idea why he's angry. What's worse is that scolding your cat for something he doesn't know about will cause stress and fear. Instead, a timely response is critical. If you catch your cat scratching the furniture and intervene quickly, he'll get the message. Another common mistake is rubbing the cat's nose in the feces when he has an accident. This practice used to be common during grooming training, but it can lead to stress, anxiety, and health problems for the cat. Physical disciplines, like hitting a cat, are one of the least effective forms of punishment. In addition to being potentially dangerous, they can lead to shyness and fear in the owner, as well as causing injury to both the owner and the cat. Furthermore, physical punishment is often ineffective and can damage the relationship between the owner and the pet. 
Now that you know more about how to discipline your cat, share your thoughts in the comments section below. How do you educate your cat? Does your pet obey your commands, share your own experience, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until later.